In this video I'm showing how to convert a fluorescent light fixture to use LED bulbs. The ballast in this thing had long ago failed, so the fluorescent tubes weren't really providing much light when the switch was turned on. Luckily this is a super easy project, so I'll go ahead and jump right into it. I removed the fixture from the ceiling just to make it easier to work on, so my electrical is already disconnected. Just make sure that you take some precautions before you get started. First I'm going to remove this metal cover to get at the ballast and wiring. You can cut the wires on both sides of the ballast, we won't be needing that anymore. In my case I still had some wire nuts to this piece of Romex to remove. The ballast was held in place by two screws on the underside of the fixture. I removed both of those screws and then sat the ballast aside. Next we can remove the metal pieces on each end that hold the tombstones in place. And this brings me to my favorite part about using this method to do a fluorescent to LED conversion. We can just throw these tombstones away. We don't have to care if they're shunted or non-shunted or whatever. So just go ahead and remove these from the metal pieces from both ends. We won't be reusing these. Pretty much all the guts from the fluorescent fixture just go in the trash. Alright, so what we'll be replacing it with is this toggled LED conversion kit. I got these from Home Depot. They're about $20 for a pack of two. The kit comes with two bulbs, wire nuts and the tombstones for the non-energized side. It includes pre-wired tombstones for the energized side. And then finally the instructions and some labels. Alright, so back to the fixture. It's pretty much just an empty carcass at this stage, so we're starting with a clean slate here. We install the pre-wired tombstones on one side, and then the unwired tombstones on the other side. The pre-wired tombstones slotted right into the grooves on the metal piece, just like this. And then same thing for the unwired tombstones at the other end of the light. Then I just had to muscle them back into the fixture here. And I found this part is a little bit fiddly. It takes some finesse to get the metal tabs to slot back into the grooves on the sides of the fixture. After a minute of messing with it, I had both sides seated into place and was ready to begin the wiring. I used the wire nuts that came with the kit. The ends of the wiring to the tombstones were pre-stripped. I wanted just a smidge more to work with, so I took off a little bit more insulation. And there's no surprises here. Just group all the neutrals up and then wire nut them together. And then same thing on the hot side here, I just stripped off a little bit more insulation, twisted them together, and then tightened a wire nut down. I honestly can't remember where the ground was before, so I drilled a hole in the back of the fixture. I reused one of the screws that came out of the fixture, wrapped the ground around it. I reused one of the nuts that also came out of the light to hold the ground in place. Alright, so that's pretty much the meat of the project here. I took the wires down inside of the fixture and I put the metal cover back in place. I put the sticker on the side of the fixture with the energized tombstones. The bulbs themselves only have one side that accepts power. It's labeled with AC input. You just gotta remove these little plastics from the ends and then slot the bulbs into place. They turn and sort of snap in just like a traditional fluorescent bulb would. And since I'm just doing this in my garage for a demonstration, I hillbilly wired this together just to light it up. But there you have it folks, that's all there is to it. I've converted several fixtures this way and I believe this is by far the best way to do it. Having the kit that includes the tombstones just takes all the guesswork out of it and makes it so easy. I highly recommend going this route if you're doing the same project. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if it was helpful, and thanks for watching. 